Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Equine Energy. I'm Dr. Christina Sunday Wagner, a traumatic brain injury survivor, and I'm going to be telling you a very fun story today from the perspective of my Bernese Mountain Dog puppy, Stella. But first, I want to tell you about Dolores Cannon, a hypnotherapist and author, and the Law of Attraction, which suggests that thoughts and beliefs attract similar energies. Miraculous fun manifestation experiences are seen as a natural part of our journey when we consciously align our assumptions and beliefs with positive outcomes. By maintaining a joyful, positive mindset, individuals may witness what they perceive as miraculous manifestations in their lives, creating a cycle of positive reinforcement. Now, this story is a happy story. Sit back, release, and get into equine energy. Hey everyone, it's Stella, Queen Mountain Dog from Equine Energy. This is the nice lady that walked up to our car after I was strutting myself in the parking lot. And she asked if we wanted another dog that looked just like me. Well, the next thing I know, we were led down a mysterious dark road. I was sitting in the back seat and I could hear the girls giggling and laughing and whispering. They were excited. We drove for a long time in a dark, mountainous road. We were led down this mysterious dark path to an isolated mansion. We walked up the stairs, and I could tell there were other dogs there. I was looking around, and I was anticipating. And there he was, my skinny little brother, who they had been calling Strawberry or Berry. They told us he used to be called Strawberry and I used to be called Kiwi. Isn't that sweet? Apparently, our breeder had a fruity theme going on, but at this time, the humans didn't know he was my brother. After a little bit of investigation, it turns out that Barry was not just any dog. He's my long-lost brother. His owners were house-sitting and preparing to move to California, two states away, they had shaved him so he looked skinny. Really? Uh huh. He was very. You see, I've always been a believer in the law of attraction. This is what she said. I envisioned having a big, furry playmate to rock around with. Especially since I outgrew the little Shih Tzus. So I started manifesting my desires into the universe. I have positive energy. Stella's positive energy and her clear intentions created a powerful force, aligning the universe to bring exactly what she needed into her life. And guess what, Stella says. The universe responded in the most incredible way. Instead of us going out to find a companion for me, the universe brought my brother, Baron, right to our doorstep. This story beautifully illustrates the principle of assumption, expecting that what you desire is already on its way. Baron's arrival was the universe confirming that assumption. Stella also says, just like the teachings of Abraham Hicks and Dolores Cannon, our experiences are a reflection of our thoughts and assumptions. It's a powerful reminder that the law of attraction is not just a concept. It's a real force that responds to our energy and intentions. So next time you're dreaming big or hoping for something, remember my story. The universe has an incredible way of bringing the right things into our lives when we align our energy with our desires.
Stella goes on to say, You see, Baron had a mission even before he joined Equine Energy. It turns out he had made a special agreement with his first owner's grandpa, who was on the other side, what humans call dead. In the grand scheme of things, Baron agreed to spend six months playing with his first owner's granddaughter. He played a crucial role, helping her welcome his great-granddaughter into the world. She even named the baby after him. He sat there and he helped with the baby and he helped his humans get ready. Baron, in his infinite wisdom, knew he had a higher purpose, a commitment to fulfill before he could join us at the nonprofit and play. He served that family with love and dedication, acting as a conduit for a beautiful connection between a granddaughter and her departed grandfather. You know, Baron's nothing but grateful for that time. He sees it as a privilege to have been part of such a special moment. And now he's here with us, ready to play and continue spreading the love to everyone at Equine Energy. So not only did the universe bring us together through the law of attraction, but Baron also fulfilled a heartwarming mission, creating a bond that transcends this world and the next. And that, my friend, is the extraordinary tale of Baron, a dog with a purpose and a heart full of gratitude. Life is indeed a beautiful journey, and we're honored to share it with you here at Equine Energy. Now, dear listener, you know that if you enjoyed this story even remotely and you're relaxed, you're in equine energy. This is a beautiful receiving mode. Take a deep breath in, and as you release it out, think about what it is in your life that you'd like more of. More beauty, more love, more vitality, anything that makes you happy. Right now is a good time to think that would be a nice thing to have in my life. As miracles are coming true all over the place at Equine Energy. And we thank you so much for joining us today. We are a 501c3 nonprofit that partners with horses to help humans thrive. And now we have an additional Bernie's Mountain Dog So we're going to have at least one story a week about what's happening with Baron and Stella. There are new friends and guardians at Equine Energy, brought to us by believing and asking and hoping for him. And we thank the law of attraction and the universe for bringing him our way. So that's our incredible story of manifestation, law of attraction, and the power of assumption as taught by great minds like Abraham Hicks and Dolores Cannon. Baron is now an integral part of equine energy, living his best life alongside his sister, Stella, the manifesting queen. We thank you so much for joining us today, and we thank you for subscribing. And if you give us a thumbs up, We'll do a rollover for you. (laughs) No, we thank you again for joining us. Miracles do happen. Buy a horse a carrot or a dog a bone. Please text 53555 on your phone. Oh, wow, that rhymed. (laughs) Anyway, we thank you so much. And we'll see you in the next video. And remember, dreams do come true. Write them down. Think about them. The dog did an incredible job of manifesting.